Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like, share, comment, okay, before you watch this video any further. Also you guys, I'm doing personal readings for the month of January only. So if you want a personal reader for me, just email me. My email is in the description box down below. So let's see what's going on for my Aquarius, Spirit, Guides of Love and Light, Ancestors and the Masters, my Angel of the Prime Light. Peace protect the deck from any negative energies. Remove anything that's here to confuse me. Okay, thank you to everybody that has been subscribing, liking my video, getting readings from me. I really appreciate it so much. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles, okay? So I'm seeing here that somebody is thinking about you, okay? It's like they can't get you out their head. This person think about you day, day and night. Okay, I'm seeing here, it's like this person could want to take you out on a day night or somebody here wants to take you out on a day night to either make it up to you or that's their way of apologizing, but it's like with the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the only thing that's in the back of this person's mind is having sex with you. So it's like they're trying to flatter you. They're trying to say the right words to you. Okay, this person could probably pop up to either where you stay or they probably know where your whereabouts be at, where you work and shit like that. And it's like they're going to try to come in and say the right thing towards you. Try to persuade you. Okay. And it's like they've been stressing themselves out because they've been thinking about, like, what I'm going to say to Aquarius, you know, to make them stay trapped or feel trapped or restricted in some type of way. Like, you can't deny them the offer that they're trying to give to you. But it's like a really, like, sneaky offer. They're not going to be up front with you and tell you, like, hey, I want to have sex with you. They're going to be like, can we go out on a date? They're going to try to, like, either pay for the date or buy you something to drink or some drugs or something like that so it can confuse you with the eight of swords here so you won't be in your right state of mind it's like this person is giving me like really creepy vibes okay four of pentacles yeah this person is holding on to you they don't want to let you go okay this person they have a lot of sexual energy towards you as well yeah, and I'm seeing here, it's like, you can have a stalker. This person is like us, like, really, like, spying on you. And it's like, they feel like since they can't get you out their head, they're going to hold on to you. And they don't want you to feel like you can get away from them. Because they can't get you out their head, because they're in love with you. This person also is very codependent on you and your energy. Okay, I'm seeing here, it's like, you moved away from this person. You guys have a bit of communication, but it's like, ever since you moved away from this person, it's like, this person have you on their mind all the time. And it's like, they haven't let you go yet. Okay, and I'm seeing here, you when you was with this person, you could have felt like trapped, restricted, restless, hopeless. Okay, and it's like, I'm also seeing here you start saving your money here because you either knew that you was going to remove yourself from this person. And I'm seeing here, it's like you are doing good financially by yourself. You're independent. You're luxurious. Okay. And it's like this person's obsessed with you. Okay. I feel like you're enjoying your single time alone, you know, and it's like this person have regret, you know, they're in despair. They're disappointed in themselves. Because they ruined something with you. Now they can't get over you. This person is possessive. They're very territorial as well. Yeah, it's like, because you took a leap of faith from this person. So that's why they're sad. You know, they're mourning over you. They feel like they lost you forever. Yeah, and they feel like you're giving to somebody else with the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Like you're showing your love and compassion to somebody else. Your affection. Some of them either is going to come back and give you some type of gift. They know that they can come empty handed to persuade you. Yeah, with the King of Swords here, it's like this person been thinking a lot about how they're going to come in towards you. And it's like with the King of Swords, this person, 
either been showing you that side where they're emotionally unavailable, they're detached, like they give it out this like this nonchalant attitude. But it's like deep down, like take off the mask that they're wearing. They have a lot of emotions. They care about you a lot. Okay. And it's like this person wants to get you pregnant. So I'm really getting that. This person missed your nurture and energy. Like you were just so kind and just very sweethearted. Okay. And it's like they want to start fresh with you. But it's like they're going about it the wrong way. Yeah, this person, you left this person out in the cold. This person feel abandoned by you. Okay. Yeah, it's like you put your grounds up against this person. Because it's like you chose to plant a new seed and start focusing on your goals and, you know, what's going to make you abundant. And it's like you had to leave this person out in the cold because it's like they was being disrespectful. They wasn't treating you right. They was taking advantage of your kindness. Okay. And it's like you killed this person with kindness, you know. It's like you didn't give this person a reaction that they wanted, like how they would be. You know, this person could probably be verbally abusive, but it's like you wasn't. Like you were just like, all right. You know, you can have it like you won. You know, I'm not going to argue with you, go back and forth with you. You just probably block this person. And it's like they either could have made another page. And I'm seeing here, it's like this person is trying to maintain control and like fight for you back. Because they don't want you to leave them out of the cold. They don't like how that feel, you know. But they are do it to you. But it's like when you do it to them, it's like this person can dish out what they take. And it's like you don't even have your back towards this person. I mean, you don't have you. You don't have you not facing this person. You got your back turned towards them. OK, you focus on your work. And it's like you could be defensive towards this person as well, because it's like you don't have time, time to be wasted. Like time is money, you know. You ain't got time to be uh, monitoring a, a grown-up. Yeah, and it's like you gave yourself justice by walking away from this person. And I'm seeing here you could be in a new connection with somebody that treats you fairly. You could be dealing with the Libra, okay? And it's like you could either be public with this person that you're talking to. And it's like you could be receiving a lot of victory, success right now. It's like you had a win-win outcome leaving this person behind. You know, it's like everything just been going good in your life. Everything just balanced. And you don't need nobody coming in, coming in your life and like, you know, making it unbalanced, you know. Because it's like you like structure, you like to be organized. This person's life could be all over the place. I'm saying here you could be in the spotlight, you could be well-known, you could be popular, or you just receiving a lot of, you know, recognition right now for whatever you do. Okay. It was like the nine of wands here. This person could be in the spotlight as well. They could have a big ego, but it's like they don't like to be in the spotlight, but it's like this person is. And it's like they're suspicious of everybody. This person feels like a wounded warrior because they see that, you know, somebody is treating you right. You're peaceful. You're not in a toxic, you know, relationship. Like they're seeing this person treat you different than they ever did like this person have respect for you they don't call you out your name you know and it's like this person is going to need to overcome that obstacle you know because it's like your focus you was determined to get away from this person because you know what you want it's like you have hope you, you're not giving up what you want you have this vision of you're going to be engaged you're going to be um living happily genuinely happy in a emotional supportive dynamic you know with a, somebody that you work very good with it's like you probably didn't work good with that person and you didn't that's why you guys are not talking now you know yeah it was this big tower moment here it was this change and that change caused you to overcome these obstacles and to you know make you get back focused okay yeah, it's like when this tower moment happened, you realize all the fake, all the manipulation that this person was doing. And it's like you, they just got past it. They kept doing it. They kept taking advantage. And then when you start noticing what they was doing, it's like now they are trying to like, you know, be lenient on you, you know. But it's like, you no, know, you've been playing in my face this whole time, taking advantage of me. You know, now I'm, my third eye is open and I see what the fuck you're doing. And this connection with this relationship that we was in, and you was not being loyal, you was not being committed. Okay, you cared about what everybody else think. You cared about your reputation. 
Like, you didn't care if you was embarrassing me. You didn't. You just made sure that you was fine. Yeah, to a, to a sword. This person was at a stalemate. They was dealing with other people. They was confused. They didn't know what they want. So they betrayed you in the process. And you went through a painful ending here. And you completed a cycle with this person. This person could be a child that they could get a lot of attention. And it's like they like that attention with the Nine of Cups here. This person likes some people show them attention. Third parties here that either they could party a lot, but it's like your intuition with the high priestess is telling you what you need to do in this situation. Okay. You could have either had a dream that this person was cheating and that was cheated on you. And that was like the universe trying to tell you like what's going on behind the scenes that you don't see. Or you just listen to your gut. Okay. And I'm seeing here. Yeah, this person has a problem with overindulging. Like, they could go out a lot with people that flirts and, like, you know, it basically, like, praise their behavior, knowing that they have somebody that they're in a relationship with or that they're talking to. It's like they could have friends here that introduce them to other people, you know. But somebody here has a drinking problem for sure. Like, they drink too much alcohol. And that could cause this person to be confused as well because it's like you're not in your right state of mind. It's like this person, somebody is always off of something. And it's like this person don't heal. It's like they just keep going through the same cycle over and over with different people. And it's like this person didn't get like a lot of attention at home, you know. So it's like they look for attention in other people. That's not, that's not good. Yeah, some of you guys could be either finding out that you have some type of spiritual gift okay but i'm seeing here it's like ever since you left this person you've been accomplishing a lot okay and it's like this person don't get pleasure with nobody else how you did them at all like they know that you was the one but it's like this person is some type of illusion they just can't let go of options or you know this person has a wondering eye they be watching people pages and shit like that looking at what who who they gonna deal with next and f who life they gonna fuck up next or they probably bring in somebody that's just like them you know but i'm seeing here it's like you're going towards new love you have a new love coming in towards you if you haven't already experienced it and it's like as soon as this person see you loving on somebody else they're watching you for sure okay they're they could have could have made like seven different pages but they're watching you for sure and you was this person with fulfillment. But it's like, they have a lot of love for you. But it's like, when they see somebody else loving you, that's when they're going to try to come in towards you and communicate fast. And be like, well, how could you, you know? Yeah, and then you're going to reject this person. You're not going to want to hear nothing they have to say. Like, this person watches you so much. They're so curious about what you're doing. And it's like, your life is balanced. And then they're going to think like, you know, it's just going to take a little bit of patience. And they're going to break up. Like with the new person that you're dealing with. And you're going to come back to them. But that's not the case. Yeah, the two of wands here. This person's going to be waiting forever. Yeah. Three of swords. They're going to be heartbroken because it's like you heal from them. You don't want them no more. You don't want to go back to that heartbreak. You know, you got clarity and truth with the ace of swords about this person. You know, and it's like you put boundaries up. You know, you went through an uh, awakening. You chose to make a decision to focus on your money. You know, and walk away from anything that no longer serve you and go towards your passions. Okay. Cause this person, it's like they got traditions and beliefs that they held on to that's not good for them. This person can like have some type of belief like they they supposed to be the provider if they're married or in the household, but that's not the case. Like the girl and the man can be a provider, you know? But obviously here, it's like you've been doing a lot of self-reflection and you realize the flaws that this person has, you know? It's like, that's just so easy for you to point it out. That's how you know, like, you can't deal with this person because it's like, they have a lot of healing to do because you could have did some healing that this person need to do, you know? Yeah, but you have a commitment coming in towards you. And I'm sitting here, it's like you reflecting. You was like, I can't wait for this person. I'm gonna be waiting forever for this person to commit to me. Yeah, and I'm seeing here you have a lot of blessings coming in towards you, a lot of ships coming in towards you. The will is turning in your favor, okay? You could have found your life purpose, and I'm seeing here you're standing in your power, okay? You're feeling confident. You're not letting nothing stop you no more, okay?
Yeah, it's like you've seen a huge difference after you surrender and let go of this person, you know? But I'm seeing here you have a family dynamic that is coming in the 3D that's manifesting. You're manifesting it and you don't even realize it that you're doing it. It's going to be successful. It's going to be happy for sure, okay? So I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!